most powerful gift that God has given to man is the ability to be able to commune with Him. Through the blood of Jesus, the Bible says that we come before the throne of grace with boldness. This is the power of prayer. The disciples asked Jesus, they said, Lord, teach us how to pray. They'd seen Jesus go off all night. And when He returned, He came in the power of the Holy Spirit. This is the same power that we need in our generation. Jesus said, do not be like the Pharisees who use their vain repetitions. It's not our vain repetitions that impress God. God says, come humbly before me, open your heart, speak to me, and I'll show you my glory. Jesus told his disciples, when you pray, pray in this manner. This was not supposed to be a repetitious prayer. He was given as a blueprint, a way how to enter into the presence of God. Jesus said, when you pray, say, our Father who art in heaven. When you speak to the Father, you not only recognize who He is, but you recognize who you are through Christ, that we are children of God, heirs of salvation. We do not grovel, but we approach the Father through our inheritance in Him. This is the power of His grace. This is why the power of prayer is simply this, intimacy with God. When you know the person, the Father, you declare his position who arts in heaven. And thirdly, you're ready to declare, hallowed be thy name, his praise. Whenever I enter the presence of God, I understand my Father has drawn me close to him. And through that, I begin to praise his holy name. When you begin to declare his name, something powerful begins to take place. Those things that come against us cannot stand against the name of Jesus Christ. This is why his name is holy. Jesus was giving us the blueprint to know your identity, to understand his dominion, and thirdly, to praise his holy name. I want you to notice something. Up until this point, you've not asked God for anything. And this is a true revelation. Many times we come with our shopping list, but this is not a true relationship. Most of my prayer is declaring who God is and what He is to me. This is a love relationship. When this begins to happen, I understand the Word of God declares this, that the Lord already knows what I need even before I ask it. In that atmosphere of worship, the Holy Spirit begins to pray through us and we begin to know His will for our lives. I believe God is speaking to every one of you today that there's a deeper place of prayer, a deeper intimacy, and it's seen in the Lord's Prayer. It's time to let His will be done in our lives.